Welcome to the second episode of Top 5 Greatest Spies in History. Today, we dive into the story of Richard Sorge, the Soviet spy who changed the course of World War II. Richard Sorge was born on October 4, 1895, in the city of Baku, which at the time was part of the Russian Empire. His father, Wilhelm Sorge, was a German engineer working for the Nobel Oil Company in Baku. His mother, Nina Semenads, was a well-educated Russian woman. This German-Russian cultural blend in the Sorge family profoundly influenced his upbringing and perspectives. Sorge moved to Germany during his childhood and continued his elementary education there. He studied philosophy and political science at the universities of Berlin, Kiel, and Hamburg, developing a keen interest in Marxist and socialist ideas. The outbreak of World War I and his participation in the German army marked a turning point in his life. Richard Sorge served as a soldier in the German army in various fronts during World War I. In 1916, he was seriously wounded on the Eastern Front in Russia. Shrapnel from a shell hit his leg, forcing him to stay away from the battlefield for a long time. This experience gave him time to reflect on social and political issues, pushing him towards socialism and later Marxism. After fully recovering from his physical injuries, he decided to engage in political activities. After the war, Sorge joined the German Communist Party and gradually entered the world of espionage. After joining the German Communist Party, Sorge moved to Moscow, where he was introduced to Soviet intelligence services. He quickly became recognized as one of the Soviet Union's most valuable agents, and his intelligence and cunning caught the attention of high-ranking officials in the NKVD. In the early 1920s, Sorge began working as a journalist, a profession that allowed him to travel to various countries and gather important information. One of his earliest significant missions was in China, where he established close ties with members of the Chinese Communist Party and built an extensive spy network. These experiences set the stage for his next major mission in Japan. In 1933, the Soviet Union decided to send Sorge to Japan to gather military and political intelligence. At that time, Japan was one of the most powerful countries in Asia and had close ties with Nazi Germany. Sorge, using a fake identity as a German journalist, went to Tokyo and quickly infiltrated political and military circles. Sorge worked as a German journalist for major Japanese newspapers and gradually developed relationships with key figures in the Japanese government and even the German embassy in Tokyo. Through these connections, he managed to access highly classified and valuable information that was critical to the Soviet Union. In addition to his professional role, Sorge's personal life was unusually complex. He frequently had relationships with various women, especially in Japan, which helped him access important information. One of his most famous relationships was with a Japanese woman named Hanako Ishii, who remained loyal to him despite knowing his true identity. After Sorge's arrest, she even made efforts to save him. Operation Barbarossa was the code name for the largest military invasion in history, launched by Nazi Germany against the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941. This operation was part of Hitler's plan to conquer Eastern Europe and gain access to its rich resources, including the oil of the Caucasus and the grain of Ukraine. Hitler's primary goal was to destroy the communist regime in the Soviet Union, and create living space for the German people. Nazi Germany, with an army of over 3 million soldiers, thousands of tanks, airplanes, and other military equipment, attacked the Soviet Union. In the early stages of the invasion, German forces made rapid advances and succeeded in capturing vast areas of the Soviet Union. However, with the onset of Russia's harsh winter 
and the staunch resistance of the Soviet forces, the German offensive came to a halt. This defeat marked a turning point in World War II, eventually leading to the complete retreat and defeat of German forces on the Eastern Front. While in Tokyo, Richard Sorge gathered valuable intelligence about the imminent German invasion of the Soviet Union. He was able to inform Stalin of the exact timing of Operation Barbarossa through his close relationships with German and Japanese diplomats and military personnel. However, Stalin was distrustful of this information and ignored Sorge's warning. As a result, the Soviet Union was caught completely off guard at the beginning of the German invasion and suffered heavy losses. One of Sorge's most significant achievements was informing the Soviet Union of Japan's military plans. He accurately reported that Japan had no intention of attacking the Soviet Union and would instead focus on Southeast Asia. This information allowed Stalin to transfer troops from the Eastern Front to the Western Front, enabling stronger resistance against Nazi Germany. Despite all his successes, Sorge's spy network in Japan was eventually exposed. In 1941, Japanese police discovered Sorge's true identity and arrested him. After months of interrogation and torture, Sorge confessed to spying for the Soviet Union. His trial in Japan was held with the presence of representatives from the German embassy, and Sorge was sentenced to death. Sorge was hanged on November 7, 1944, in a Tokyo prison. He remained loyal to his Marxist ideals until the end of his life and did not regret the work he had done for the Soviet Union.